Welcome back to another video, guys. Today, we're going to be predicting my uh, Survivor Series life predictions thingy thingy, you know what I mean. Bianca Belair, oh, first off, we have the Women's War Games match, which is Bianca Belair, Charlotte Flair, Becky Lynch, and Shotzi versus Damage Control. Um, I got Damage Control winning, but they're celebrating. Um, uh, Dakota's obviously gonna come out. She's just hurt. Uh, she's gonna come out and celebrate with them. Then she's gonna lead Io Sky, Kyrie, Sane, and Asuka to beat up Bailey. Bailey's gonna turn face. Um, yeah, you know, if you see me look this way, I'm on a random website on my phone, so. Uh, next match, we have Santos Escobar versus Carlito. And if you hear a thing go off, it's pretty loud. If you hear it go off, just ignore it. Um, Santos Escobar versus Carlito. I have, uh, Santos Escobar winning. I think it's just gonna be, everybody's just gonna beat up Santos, but he's still gonna pull through and beat Carlito. Because he's Santos Escobar. He's probably the best wrestler in LWO besides Rey Mysterio. Um, I don't, this is a hard match to predict. Like, it's literally just two amazing wrestlers in the ring. I mean, Carlito is really good, and Santos Escobar is really good, too. It's just going to be a big matchup. Uh, WWE Women's World Championship. Rhea Ripley versus Zoe Stark. Um, Rhea Ripley's gonna win. I'm gonna say Rhea Ripley's gonna win because um, I was Zoe Stark was from the end of NXT all all the way here, and I don't think she has enough to beat Rhea. I could be wrong, though. But I don't think that's going to happen. I think Rhea's going to win. And I know you all don't know this. But I was at Zoe Stark's main roster. Uh. Uh. Debut. It was on Raw. But it was non-televised. At all. It was really. It was a decent match. I don't remember who it was. But I'm pretty sure it was her versus Sonya Deville. It was non-televised, but I was there. Um, you all probably didn't see me at all. It was during a Raw, and I think this January. Um, but anyways, the Intercontinental Championship, Gunther versus The Miz. Um, this is really tough. I mean, The Miz is a face. Everybody wants him to win. Gunther, who's just beating the crap out of everybody. I'm, you all might think differently. I've got The Miz winning. He's just that good. Like, he could beat Gunther, like, Prime Miss could beat Gunther any day of the week. Um, so I've got the Miz winning. He's just so talented that, like, um, that he could probably beat Roman Reigns. I wouldn't say that, like, he will beat or, like, he just could beat Roman. I know that's never going to happen. Um, because Roman has been, has won so many matches. He hasn't been pinned. Eric Rowan was one of the last four people. And that's saying a lot, because Eric Roman, Rowan has been in WWE, in AEW. I don't, nobody was in, but he's been out of WWE since, like, 2021, which is just crazy. Um, the War Games match, the main one. Um, the main match 
that the one that has got a lot of built up, the next that we're probably going to be talking about most of this video, or at least half. Um, Cody Rhodes, Seth Rollins, Jay Uso, Sami Zayn, and Randy Orton versus the Judgment Day. I'm running out of breath. Okay. So, since I can barely talk, because I've talked for the past 5 minutes and 30 seconds non-stop, um, I'm just going to say, not the Judgment Day for Cody Rhodes, Seth Rollins. Jay Uso, Sammy, Zane, and Randy. Eh. Yes, it's going to be Randy Orton. We all know it's going to be Randy. We've been waiting for this moment forever. Um. Yes, it's going to be Randy Orton. For all those saying it's going to be, I don't know, who's been out for a long time. Um. Biggie. Biggie's been out. People probably might say Biggie might be one of them. Um, no, it's going to be Randy. I mean, Cody literally said somebody he has a legacy with and like the Viper or something. One of his nicknames, but he never said Randy to keep it a surprise. But, no. Um, I don't think I've said this, but not Judgment Day is going to win. But while they're celebrating, nobody's expecting it. Randy Orton's going to hit an RKO to Jey Uso. And you're all probably wondering, why would Randy do that? Well, if you go back, I think it was last summer, look at what Jey Uso did to Randy. Put him in the hospital. So it would just make complete sense to do that. And that rivalry can last till WrestleMania. Because I think Jimmy and Jey Uso are going to have a feud at WrestleMania. But, um, yeah. Um, Cody is going to beat Roman at WrestleMania. Don't know which WrestleMania, but it's going to be a WrestleMania. Seth Rollins, he, he just needs... To lose that title. Like at this point. The back thing's real. Um. All that. Um. He just needs a break for. At least a few. Months. Like he could go a year. And he still probably wouldn't be 100%. Um. Uh. What else was I going to say? I don't know, but, oh, Roman has never beat Seth, so if Cody doesn't win, it's going to be Seth, you, you probably saying, well, Roman did beat Seth, but he didn't, it was a disqualification, so, technically, Roman's never beat Seth, and, well, Roman's technically never beat anybody in WWE that's faced him in the past two years because he's literally had either Solo Sokoa, Jimmy Uso, Che Uso, Sami Zayn, whoever else has been in the bloodline, Paul Heyman at this point, Umaga could probably be one of them, uh, Rikishi, the Fatu family, everybody. I hope I said Fatu right. Um, and possibly you could see Sammy going heel or face or staying face because I think Sammy might help uh, Jay because Randy's gonna do that because Sammy and Jay are re still really good friends in the locker room, even televised. Um, so, it's just going to be a really good match. I think it's probably going to be, it's either going to be Gunther versus The Miz or the men's war games match that is going to be my match of the night. I don't think the women's war game is going to be good. 
until like I don't think any of the war games are gonna be really good, like perfect until somebody wins. Cause I think the celebration part's gonna do a lot. And you all have heard a lot of rumors, and a lot and a lot and a lot of rumors about CM Punk coming back to WWE. I think Survivor Series will. He might come back. It's going to be like somebody's just going to have a random promo. And then he's just going to come out there. Have the loudest crowd reaction. More than Sami Zayn. More than Cody Rhodes has ever had. He's just going to have a large crowd reaction. And have a feud with whoever he's whoever called or like talked about something for a few months so that's gonna be my survivor series predictions i'll go over it but i won't say the full thing so i got damage control bailey eel sky kairi sane and oscar all oh i forgot to mention in this match um i think bailey and kairi sane are gonna have a few because Bailey's probably jealous because Kyrie Sane came and Eo Sky's putting more attention to Kyrie. Uh, uh, I told you I've been talking for too long without stopping. Because Kyrie Sane, I mean, Bailey's going to be jealous of Kyrie Sane because Eo Sky's putting more attention to her instead of, uh, bleh, the, you know, um, Instead of her. I think it makes sense. Um, Santos Escobar is going to beat Carlito. Rhea Ripley's going to beat Zoe Stark. Gunther's going to beat The Miz. I mean, The Miz is going to beat Gunther. Cody Rhodes, Seth Rollins, Jey Uso, Sami Zayn, Randy Orton are going to... Um, it's right in front of my eyeballs. Cody Rhodes, Seth Rollins, Jey Uso, Sami Zayn, Randy Orton are going to beat the, the Judgment Day. Not Judgment Day, it's going to be Judgment Day. And the people that are in that match for Judgment Day is Damian Priest, Slim Ballard, Dominic Mysterio, Jade McDonough, Andrew McIntyre. So that's my Survivor Series 2020. 40 million, 20, I forgot what year it is, 2023, didn't graduate from McDonald's, but still, um, yeah, so that's my Survivor